Well, hello, my name is Bart Allen. Once upon a time, I was an assistant to Julia Child. Well, unfortunately, Mrs. Child fired me 400 years ago because I put too much whale oil in King Henry James' coffee and he got sick. So that ended my career cooking for the royalty. So now I am relegated to teaching Bellingham how to make brownies. So enjoy. I'd like to remind us all that this is for gluten-free dark brownies. Because it's gluten-free, we're going to replace the normal flour with four different gluten-free flours. The regular baking powder flour, the coconut flour, the sorghum flour, and the xanthium gum. We're doing this because we're trying to emulate the taste of the normal, non-gluten-free cooking. Now, preheat the oven to 350 degrees, also, you need to use a double boiler that prevents the chocolate and the butter from overheating and getting burned. Simple double boiler is two pots. One can fit in the other. The outer pot has water as well as two pieces of metal to keep the pots separate. It'll be six ounces of chocolate each bar is four ounces. We're using one and a half bars. Along with the chocolate, we have one half cup of butter, which is one stick. That all goes into the inner cup, uh, inner pot of the double boiler. We put it on the stove. We use low heat to prevent the water from boiling over into the mix. While that's going on, let's proceed to mix together the dry ingredients. Remember, there are four different flowers that have to be measured and thoroughly mixed together. After all, we're replacing one consistent flour with four different flours. We have to get this mix consistent, which means not only are we going to use the sifter, we're going to use the mixer, the beaters, to get that mix thoroughly mixed together so that when it's baking, it is as if it's one flour. Sifting. And by the way, the salt we're handling separately because it's a rock salt, won't fit through the sifter. That being done, and now let's run the, the beater in the dry mix for about two minutes. That gets everything thoroughly mixed together. And it would behave as if it's one consistent flour. And we set that aside. Now we take the chocolate and butter mixture out of the hot water. We'll replace the hot water with cold water. This gives the mix a chance to cool to room temperature. Failing to do that, you Brownies will be very gummy and not pleasant. That going on, we got one egg, two eggs, three eggs, and four eggs, and a little bit of vanilla. Let's get her all mixing. This would take about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm running at a high speed, so you just won't be bored. But very important, we need to get the final result very silky smooth and consistent in color. Now it's time to get that cool down chocolate mixture in. Again, we run the mixer, make sure the color is consistent and the texture is silky smooth. Once that's done, 
It's time to mix in the mixed flowers. The dry mixture, get that all thoroughly mixed together so it's consistent. Final step, we're going to mix in the coconut and the chocolate chips. If you don't want to burn out your mixer, I strongly suggest that you do this final mixing by hand using a heavy spoon. If you're like me, I have a cheap, very light duty mixture that will be guaranteed to burn out if I were to do this last step using the mixture. Once this is done, let's grab the pan. I use a no-stick pan. I'm too lazy to pre-grease the pan. Now let's get that entire mix into the pan without getting it all over myself or the kitchen, which I have done in past years while making brownies. And once we get that in the pan, let's get it all nice and spread out and smooth be ready to go into the oven. And by the way, speaking of the oven, I'd like to suggest that you keep a sheet, piece of sheet steel inserted between the bottom heater element of the oven and your mix so that your mix will not be overcooked or burned at the bottom. Now to make sure the brownies are done, you dip a fork and make sure that it's dry. And when you take your brownies out, I strongly suggest that you use a cocoon of towels to keep the brownies nice and warm and gently cooling for eight hours. Enjoy.